like the DJs. This is a world premiere. Boom, 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 boom. I got a story to tell. Our protagonist, Big U. Everybody come on in. Come on in. Get comfortable. Take your shoes off. This is a good one right here. Somebody tag Wallow and Gilly. <laughs> they gonna have to hear this. Oh boy, oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. I'ma call the goons the guys. Yes. You was having conflict of inf information. You were supposed to come out here earlier. And the guys was on standby. Big U made sure that. The plan was for you to go out to with Big U to do the video shoot. And afterwards, his thirsty son was supposed to take y'all to the trap, the hood, the village, the trenches, take you to the wolves. Bro, <laughs> you missing a good game. Listen here, man. Listen, this idiot didn't even include his son in on the play. That was supposed to be for about a buck fifty, two hundred bands. He lured you out here for a video shoot with all your jewelry, bro. So when they booked you with your two sons. Yui didn't even know. He springed into action, trying to prevent it. Until one of the guys got in his ear and said, this is a call called by your father. Oh, yes. You seen how he fell back? Pay attention. Don't be no fool. <laughs> so they get to the spot. To bust down the play. To get it all appraised. It was supposed to be 150 to 200,000. Turned out to be full gazy. It only added up to a little bit over 40. But it was like a five man operation. So imagine how that pot was going. Oh, man, you should have seen the argument that broke out over that. <whistles> An old Rolex. And some trinkets. Mm -mm -mm. And you supposed to be his brother. You supposed to be his guy. You supposed to be his friend. With friends like that, who need enemies? <laughs> Oh, man, 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 man. The plot thickens, the plot thickens. Bro, and this man playing up in your face, acting like he your brother. <laughs> it was an all-out argument over that pot. And then he wanted to just appease you and give you something back. You heard Loose Cannon. How he used to give stuff back, burn both ends of the candle, get part of the front end and the back end, and solidify a relationship like he was getting things done. <laughs> I'm surprised you couldn't have seen it. Maybe you loved that dude too much. I'm going to chop it up to that. All law argument over that pot until he sprung into a new idea. <laughs>